Boys, today we're going to do something that's called all crits all the time. See, we went with crazy here. Crazy has this really fun little unique ability. Of, first off, he has 25% attack speed. Second off, as long as he's holding a knife because he's a psychopath, he can do 100 range. Or my bad. He has 100 range. Now, he, he does have some downsides. He does. A couple of his downsides are he has minus 30% dodge because he just wants to take it to the face. Minus 10 engineering, minus 10 rage damage, which is fine. What he lacks in all of the other things, he makes up for in one uh, one aspect, in my opinion. And that is that he makes for a phenomenal crit character. Crit chance is already 9%. And because he has like this really really long range you can do something very fun with them first off it's not just the crit because you actually get um but like the bladed weapons seem to have a really good uh crit modifier so like the knife itself gets like a times four the electric shiv that i'm using and we'll get into why i'm using that in a second it gets a times two modifier with the uh electric thing like occurring i think it's like at the high end level it, it, get, it gets kind of stupid I don't really care for that. I, I'm just gonna let dodge be negative. I want some more attack speed. I want this shiv. I want the scared. I want the gentleman uh, next. I want this shiv. This is, oh, actually I want the snake too. I want a lot of things. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump up the crits because at the height of them, the shivs, also we're gonna pump up elemental damage if you if you didn't catch that. Um, <laughs> at the height of the shivs, they bounce up to four times. If you have plenty of shivs, even even like level two or tier two shivs, they bounce twice. Tier one bounce once, so on and so forth. Every tier you get an additional bounce, but you can end up doing 100 to 200 damage per bounce of the shivs lightning damage. On top of that, the shiv itself does uh, melee damage. I want the crit chance there. So because of all these things, you can get this really fun little build going where you're just kind of like it's melee, but it feels like it's not because you have all these you have all these little electrical things going boom, 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 and just annihilating. On top of that, you have really good attack speed. So as long as someone's around, you can reset the initial bump, the initial strike, if you will, and infinitely just continuously destroy things you get something like snake which i ended up getting and then it spreads to other things and then the fire damage the elemental damage that's 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 ticking away also has crit on it and because i went and grabbed the little screamy dude the screamy dude i want the elemental now you know what let's take the health regen uh, the little screamy dude that we have increases that by 3.5 with with its own little chance uh cyberball i don't really care for on this one I want this electric shiv. Uh, Reroll one more time. I should have gotten rid of this turret, but I'm gonna keep it because I just want to show off some stuff. Even though like the our engineering's minus ten, it will it, it will still do just quite a bit of damage. Just just damage. Just watch. Just watch the chaos. If you want to do, if you just want to get like a melee kill. This is the build for you. I've never, I really haven't seen a lot of people mess with a crit build. And I'm telling you, it feels so satisfying to watch this dude maniacally, crazingly, with death in his eye sockets, go after all these little guys. And you really feel like a homicidal maniac. It's beautiful, it's elegant, and you don't really need all that much. All you need is a little bit of damage multiplier, a little bit of just like straight up damage, if you will. Because the crit itself, depending on the weapon that you get, is times four to times like two, times three, times four. I don't want the engineering. Let's recycle that. Do I want to go ahead and take some luck? Let's go ahead and take some luck because I do want... I am hoping, hoping. Here's the hoping. Ooh, also Thieves Dagger is pretty good. Let's get both of these knives going because even right now, with a crit chance of 15, the knives have a 55% chance of critting and it's a 3.5 modifier. Just like that, 3.5. But I want the Thieves Dagger. Thieves Dagger will give us more materials. 36% chance if we get a crit kill. So it is perfect for crit. Uh, one more reroll. And let's get out of here. Ooh, actually, I should have taken the bear there. The bear would have given me a little bit more attack speed. Now, like with anything, I don't know if you guys know this, but for me, anytime that I go a crit build, I normally want to go like attack speed just so you can pump out more. But this is one of the very few games that will end up giving you, depending on the weapon, 100% crit chance. And I say depending on the weapon, because you'll see like the knife will get 100% crit chance before 
uh, the the shanks do. The shanks will get it before the thieves dagger does. I've already beaten this once with this character. Like I've done this build with this character, so I've gotten his trophy. If we get lucky enough, we can also get his trophy, which is a crit build trophy. It basically does this every time that we get a kill with a crit. We have a one. We have like a percentage chance, a sixty percent chance, I think. I do I want the alien eyes? I just recycled them. Ooh, I do want this uh, burning activates faster. I want that. That's nice. Take the damage percentage there. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's combine two of the shivs. Let's take this thieves dagger. I want more of that. Range damage plus elemental damage minus speed. I don't really care for. I don't want the leech right now. I will take the piggy bank. And I want some more elemental damage. The piggy bank is really interesting right now. Because my mind is telling me, yo, that means that we need to hold on to money. I will probably wait to spend any additional money besides like rerolls to make sure that I get whatever I want as far as like a level up does. To like as far, I'm going to probably try to stretch it as far as possible. I may even try to get as many things like basically held up so we can buy like all four of them at one time. But there are a couple of things that I want. The first thing I want is that there's a blade called the Thunder Blade, which I got from the wizard. I beat the game with the wizard. Uh, it was a lot of fire damage. It was really cool. But basically, I think the Thunder Blade, which I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to reread, but it does a lot of elemental damage. It's also a melee damage thing. So all in all, it should be good. I am worried, however, about holding off too long. Like, yes, Piggy Bank is good. It's compound interest, yada, yada, yada. I don't want any of that. Reroll here. Take the 15% luck. I want the additional uh, melee damage. That will be great. Ooh, a Thieves Blade? After I just said that I was going to hold off. I want the Thieves Blade. I want the luck. I'm not going to reroll. Let's just go. I'll just keep all the money. Okay, 324. I'm gonna let it I'm I'm gonna let it compound interest for us just a little bit. Because the compound interest will actually end up being more than taking the thieves blade anyways. Because it is a percentage chance to get like one more. But it's it and here's why I don't it's not like a broken thing to have a thieves blade, because it's like it's a percentage chance of getting a crit, right? Even if you have a hundred percent crit, depending on the level of your blade, it's then a percentage chance to actually get the additional. I think it's I, like at best it's 60% chance or 50. Yeah, I think it's like 60% chance. So you you can flip a coin. You can make the coin where it's always 100%, but then you have to flip another coin. And right now I'm basically flipping a coin to see if I can get crit and then another coin to see if that crit will allow me to get additional materials where the piggy bank is just you get additional materials. Now, Hopefully it doesn't get to a point where I have miscalculated so much. Do I want any of you? No, it's recycler. Ooh, all of these are good. All of these are good. Take the luck. Ooh, attack speed would be nice. Take the luck though. Take the luck. I want to, I want. Oh. I know I said I wasn't going to spend any money. I'm going to spend a little bit of money. I'm going to spend, I, I want to spend just, just a smidge of money to get this and to get this. Because I want the luck. I re okay, one reroll. <gasps> Heavy bullet? If I was... Oh my god. If I was doing any other build, this would be fine. This is not good for me. We we, we leave. We still have plenty of money. I know I wasn't... Set I said I wasn't going to spend any. And I don't think the luck actually is going to give me anything in the like long run. I probably, if I'm going to spend any money, I should probably do it on anything that gives me harvesting or any kind of survivability. But at the same point, like, you know, luck is luck, baby. I think luck also has to do with the drops that you get from the trees. So if that, and I, I think that's true, I could be wrong, but if it is, then I did do the right thing because we do have some trees here. We've gotten two items. I think we got two items the last time too though. So, I mean, I could be wrong. I know more, like the more trees you've got, like the more free items you get, because I did a farmer build. In the farmer's build, I, I think I got like three or four of the basically add more trees to everything. And with the add more trees to everything, I ended up getting like like one of the rounds. It was like 10 free items. I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's that's 10 items I didn't have to buy. I may have to do something about my armor, though. Either that or just be smarter about where I'm standing. Health regen for the luck. I will take that. I do need some health regen. I Oh, I want the scared sausage. And just take the attack speed there. Take the health regen there. The bunny free reroll. I'll take that now. I'm going to save these two. I'm going to reroll one. And then let's go. 
Okay, we upped, we upped a little bit of our HP. We upped a little bit of our HP regen because it's up to six. So, I mean, we, we like doubled it. It's not going to be anything crazy. I think for me, I don't really feel the HP regen unless it is um, like 12. But I do notice that we are wave 10. I'm going to have to do something about our attacks here real soon. Like we just don't have a lot of damage that's actually going out. And if I get hit by anything, it looks like I'm just about dead. So <laughs> gotta watch for that. I love the piggy bank, but with this, it's it, you definitely need to buy some stuff. Like it's very hard to do this build unless you're just like, unless you get like really lucky to do this build without a lot of like either a a lot of money or b just a lot of stuff but also at like the earlier levels you just i feel like you don't get a lot of money like i don't like part of me doesn't feel it worth it until like you're around i don't know third like level 13 level 14 or wave 13 wave 14 where it's actually giving you quite a bit of money well i do want to recycle that i want the crit chance here that's gonna pump us up what are we what are we sitting at now i need some i need some weapons that's what i need Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy this thieves dagger and get rid of this one. I'm gonna buy this knife. Elemental damage. I'll take that. Let me get one free reroll. I want the rip and roar. I want the black belt. I want one reroll. Ooh, elemental damage. This. Ooh, I need a little. I do need some HP. Take the HP. Take the HP regen. Let's leave with that. Okay, it's 782. That's not. That's not. That's not terrible. I don't feel bad about that, and I can instantly feel a difference in our power. We've instantly increased our power output quite a bit, so I don't feel that bad about it. However, we are going to need to do something because I'm I'm going to need more shivs in order to make this work. I when I did this last time, I ended up with like I want to say like three or four shivs. Oh, I also want to see how much what, what my luck is at because I want to make I kind of want like I want to be able to make sure that I can kind of get uh, at a reasonable pip. Like, you know, some like the, some of the better weapons, some of the better, like if I could get that thunder blade or the lightning blade or whatever the hell it's called, I'd be super excited about it. I'm just taking stupid damage here. Can I stop taking stupid damage? Appreciate it. My guy, you're golden. All right, there we go. A little bit of damage. I mean, a little bit of health. I do want to spend just a, just a, just a pit more, just a pit. Ooh, 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 warden, 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 warden. Excuse me. I would like out. Yes. That's at least one. That's at least one. Book for the engineering, recycle that. Harvesting? I do think I want the elemental damage instead. Take the elemental, there's a shiv. That's what I wanted. Let's combine these two shivs, grab this shiv. Elemental damage for the speed, I'll take one free reroll. Bandana, not really my cup of tea, one more. Max HP for minus dodge, which is great because our dodge is always already negative. What are you gonna do, go more negative? Then we're gonna go back with this. We are, I, I do seem to be like, like uh, kind of sitting around with about, you know, 800 in the bank whenever we come back. So that's not terrible. In my opinion, it's not terrible. And then we have all these like, you know, plus three weapons. By the way, what are we doing now? So this is 65% crit. This is 55% crit. These aren't crazy crit scores. Like both of these are only 40, but our crits only at like what, 25%? A few more and it should be great. But they all do multiplicatives. So the big the big Bowie knife that we have, like I said, I think right now it does like 3.5, but as you increase its tier, it ends up doing, it like its multiplier for its crit damage goes up even higher. So it, it just, it gets stronger. Like most of the weapons get stronger, but for like, as far as like crit senses go, it gets even stronger. Because if you think about it, if you end up with like, you know, plus 12% damage, like, you know, that, that's good. It's a plus 12% damage. But if you if you get like a new weapon, a lot of times combined, it's not as much as the old one. But if you then add the like, the, like, like the idea that you're getting crits off them, which is like two to three times as much, you can end up getting some stuff. You know, take the cyber ball since it's free. Take the elemental damage since it's sitting there. Take the knife because you're there. Take the black belt because you're there. Look at look at all this negative. Look at all of this negative. The negative range, don't worry about it because we get plus 100 on these. So it's not it's not terrible. Uh, this is 75% chance with 4x damage and then its base is 32. Glass cannon, I'm taking you. I'm actually, you know what? Take the glass cannon because I can take the glass cannon, the metal plate and the hedgehog and feel pretty good. Reroll for the 18. I do not want that. Attack speed, crit chance range 
I want this. I don't want this right now, though. I want that crit chance. I want that attack speed. I want to be out there just throwing blades. Throwing blades. I haven't seen a good weapon for us in a little bit, though. Not even like like one like a level one ship right now would be decent. What's my luck? 58? That's not bad. It was 70. We did well, I did sacrifice quite a bit of stuff for some luck. But honestly, the way that this build goes, at least for me, like the few times I played it, for for like the beginning, it feels weak, right? It, it for me at least. Like I've done it a couple times and there's like this weird hump like around wave 14 where it it does feel like it takes a little bit longer for this entire thing to kick off. But once you get it kicked off, it is amazing. It's stupid. It feels so good. But it's 100% this like weird thing of, I don't know if this is going to be good. Like, I don't know if this is going to be good enough. But when everything that you do ends up critting, be and I think it, it ends up like being a dice roll. Because you can lose these dice rolls, you know, quote unquote, in-game procedurally gen generated dice rolls so quickly. Oh, blood bank. No, thank you. These, these like dice rolls, if you will, lose too many of them. You're like, why did I spend all this time doing crit? Okay, 38% crit damage. This is now 88%, 64, 53, 53. Let me get a reroll. Plus, I want more elemental damage. A re <gasps> There's the Thunder Sword! Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, so this is basically the build that we've been working on, anyways for the melee and then the elemental damage because it goes off of both of them. 75, 75, so it's an even split, right? Cooldown, cooldown is, is not too bad. Critical damage is only 2x, which it's 2x for the Thieves' Blade. Uh, range isn't terrible because it's not one of, it's not, it's not one of the precise. So uh, hitting enemy spawns two projectiles that deal uh, 17 elemental damage and slows enemies around, okay. Let me recycle this Thunder Blade, take my bad. This lightning shiv for the thunder sword. One reroll. I want to hold on to this. Ooh, I mean, because it's like 40. You know what? Take this. Take the sausage. We've gotten our money down a little bit too much. Let's see what the thunder sword does. This is like, I kind of wanted it. Here's the thing about the thunder, thunder sword, though. It's not going to be proccing as much unless we get close to things. And I don't, I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Because as we kind of like go into this, there's not going to be a lot of things that get close to us. And I feel like it's going it's to definitely be one of the weapons that uh, it's going to be for anything that can get close enough to us in order to do anything. Which I'm not really seeing it proc, but I don't know if it jumps. Like, is it, if it, now, if it is jumping, oh, it is. Okay, it's the yellow. The shiv is the blue that's bouncing back and forth. It itself is the yellow that's bouncing back and forth. So 100%, this is going to end up doing quite nicely. The only thing is it's not going to have its range, so it's not going to be proccing as much as like the shiv would, but it will be there wonderfully for like the boss whenever we get to the boss, because we will be pretty close to the boss. <clears throat> and then it'll, it should just proc quite a bit. Oh, I, I don't know if you guys caught that, but I just straight up walked down into a guy. Ooh, plus 20% attack speed. I will take that. Do I want to, I can get a thieves blade. You know what? Let's combine these two. For four, so four bounces, get this. I don't really want that. Uh, more crit chance, I will take more crit chance because we're at 40% now, so that's 55%. This blade is like 90%. Reroll here, do I want more trees? You know what, I want the banner for the range. I want the trees, one more reroll. Another thunder blade, lucky, I want that. And then this right here, insanity. Insanity, because we are insane. And we're actually looking pretty good. I think just more damage percentage up. And we should be A-OK -okay going into this. Now, we, di we didn't end up getting a lot of crazy items that ended up uh, proccing or going, like, you know, making our crits stupid crazy. But I think we got close enough. Like, I mean, of course, we have five waves left. You know, we basically have a fourth of the game still. So I'm not... I am in no way, shape, or form like being like, you know, maybe we give up on it. No, no, no. We tilt even harder because right now is where it actually gets into it. This is where the creme de la creme actually comes in. You see how we're walking around? You see everything that's proccing? Even though it's not all 100%, 200 damage, 216 damage, 100 damage, 99. The blades that, that's like going back and forth, it is 84 on like regular, 
and then as it as it's like ping 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 is 96 there's 96 is that you see on the screen that is actually the thunder blade or the lightning ship one of the two I, I don't really know at the moment but it is one of them because i can see it bouncing okay do i want the claw i take the claw do i want the range actually i want nine percent crit damage is actually what i want i want this thunder blade bam baby bam baby that's actually that's a fat blade for projectile spawn off do I want the luck? You know what? Hold the luck. Take the insanity. Get out of here. I have no money. The piggy bank, I feel like, did its job when I had it. It did its job, and it will continue to do its job. But right now, I need to be thinking about the win. And right now, I half of my weapons are, you know, that they are topped out. But two of my weapons are still at tier two. Two of them are still at, at, still at tier two. And we can't have that. You know, we need more. We need beefier. We need strikier. This would this would have been perfect though if I would have gotten like the trophy. So there's a hunting trophy you get for completing the game with this character. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, while you guys are all here, uh, by the way, we just hit a thousand subs. I want to thank all of you guys straight up for that. That was that was amazing. Uh, we've been doing this for over a little over two months now. So a thousand sub in about two months. I'm I I couldn't be happier about it. Could not be happier about it. So thank you boys. I appreciate it. But. Uh, we are gonna have like a cooking stream come up soon because I, I did this little thing with like the, the community uh, I might ask you guys what we want. So be look on the lookout for like a community post for it Oh candle candle. I will take campfire. I will also take harvesting. No, I'm already down enough on that I want the elemental damage. Give me lucky one free reroll Give Ooh, actually let me hold on to knife here Yeah, let me hold on to knife. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this blade for knife that's probably going to be the thing I do, but I'm going to hold on to it right now because I want the money because I, I, I want to do a little bit of uh, I want to do a little bit of of a fluff, a little bit of making it fatter. Yo, even the music boys aren't aren't lasting terribly long. Not not terribly long. Look at them. And then they're, they're, they're being caught on fire. Oh, is the is the fire not procking the crit? No, mm, maybe, maybe. I thought everything got procked on it. It should. It should. Oh, it's definitely not. It's just taking like straight up 41. Hmm. I know explosions do. Landmines and stuff get, get taken off by it. So crazy. Well, now you know. If you're going to do a crit build, don't go wizard because it's all, because the wizard build is all about dot. I, which, which is even crazier because that means that the lightning that's hitting it, that's doing that first initial proc, it is critting, but not what it's leaving behind. I mean, it's still going to do damage, so I mean, I'll take the damage. And if it wants to sit there and just, like, spread it, that's fine. Spread Eagle the Mother. Uh, let's recycle that. Recycle that. Ra damage percentage? I will take... Ooh, Retro's Hoodie? Uh, what's my... What is my speed? It's negative four. E. Uh, plus two attack speed for every one dot. Ooh, actually, I actually have negative dodge. That would kill... That would literally kill me. Literally kill me. I will take this elemental damage though. Damage for attack speed. We're at 90. I will I will trade up. I will trade that off. And then just get rid of this dagger. It doesn't do that much damage. I don't really need it all that much. Again, for with the speed here. Uh rip. Actually, give me rip and tear. Is that my second rip and tear? 10% chance to explode. Yep. Yep, yep. And I don't want you. One more reroll. Nah. Now nah, let's just go with this. Wave 18. Wave 18. Let's just, okay, we can just stand here. Can we just stand in the middle of the room and let him do his thing? I think we can. Oh wait, except for like the, the little, I don't like the little Muppets that just sit there looking at me, but even they would end up dying because, oh wait, hold on, what, I, I got hit by something. I don't like that. Don't, don't, don't touch me. This is a very much don't touch me build because I have, what's my armor? Negative one. My, I don't dodge, I have no armor. My, I, I do regen a little bit, but not, not very much. It's just a, this is a glass cannon that I have made. You do not have to make a glass cannon to get this to work. It's just kind of how the cookie crumbled. You know, you, you take what you get, you live your life. Sometimes you get the things that you want to get to make the build you want to get. Oh, okay. Let's not, let's n stop projectiling me. I would like some health, please. Or some regen. I am I am kind of like sitting in a corner because I'm getting hit by too many bullets. Wow, come on, chef. Uh, max damage? No, uh, actually not. Critical chance for dodge? 
I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll get I'll I'll get more negative, more more negative on that. I do want the crit chance. Uh, max HP doesn't enthrall me. Speed engineering, no more crit chance. Which I know that we're taking we're taking hits on our damage, but with our crit chance being seventy five, I mean this is at ninety percent now. This is seventy eight percent. This is this is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent. This is a hundred. Like all of this is a hundred percent. So. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of hit on some things. I am trying to get where the shivs, all the shiv is, is uh, basically crit damage. I mean, I should just be happy with a 90% pump as much of the actual, like, just damage as I could to make sure that we're getting, like, the full force. But 200, come on, 220%. I am more worried right now about survivability upon the boss be because of, depending on which one we get. I may need to see what I can do about vest in investing in as much armor as possible. That might be something that we do. We're on wave 19. Wave 20 is about to come up. If I take basically two hits, maybe even three hits, maybe may, maybe even one hit from the boss, we'll, it'll be done So I'll be dead, and I won't be happy about it. And, okay, just like, okay, Viking. And the Vikings aren't dying as happily as possible. So I think that I may need to do just a little bit of dip into making sure I have some armor for survivability. And yeah, by the way, the minus 36% on the harvest is, is not kosher. Uh, attacks, oh, do I just take, just take the armor. The attack speed looks so good though. Reroll here. Dodge, no. Armor, yeah. Reroll here. Ooh, actually, yeah, take that. I, I want the health regen. What about here? Damage for range. I'll take that. One more. Nothing. One more? Oh, that would have been great. Okay, it's fine. So, lastly, this is what we're going in with. 21 health regen, 4 armor, 88 luck, which doesn't really matter to anything, 75% that crit chance, 84% attack speed, elemental damage is 29, melee is 21, and just straight up damage percentage is, what, 56? Uh, this isn't, like, my... You know what? It's not a bad one. I would have actually preferred the other guy. I think the other guy is just a little bit better. But for what we're kind of doing, staying close, you move in a counterclockwise position. So we're kind of like always on opposite side. Okay, never mind. Now we back off a little. And here's why we back off. We want to, we, we don't want to get caught up in all that. Okay, we want to heal up a little bit. I want, I want the movement speed. I want to be able to move. And I know as well as you guys do because we went with all the shivs and stuff. We do not have to attack him directly. He will just... No, he died! No! No, no! Because you can attack things from far away, the shiv and the lightning can actually go and hit him, and he had a sliver of health. I'll see y'all boys later. I'm gonna go cry, because that was... Bye bye